Welcome to this talk, how to bootstrap a BSD conference. Well, this is not a very technical talk, so uh, don't expect you will learn any kernel hacking uh, skill here, <laughs> right? So, um, and uh, honestly, I feel very nervous because this is also my first time to talk on a topic which is not te technical based. So, yeah. It is a um, big extent of my English ability, <laughs> right? So, uh, first of all, something about me, if you don't know who I am, <laughs> right? So, my name is Li Wen Xu, and uh, in Mandarin, uh, it says Xu Li Wen, and uh, um, I am the um, TW.FreeBSD.org admin, which is a semi-official mirror, and uh, we have some uh, service, uh, localize the service layer. And uh, I became FreeBSD post commuter since 2007. And uh, a few years ago, I uh, somebody invited me to join our continuous integration group. Then uh, I guess now I am the main maintainer of that cluster, and, uh, which is also why I start attending BSD camp. And a uh, few, also a few years ago, uh, I in BSD can I uh, management to push class admin to set up a official mirror at uh, uh, in Taiwan. So yeah, we not only have tw.fbz.org, now we have another twn.fbz.org. So uh, we this is the first one uh, official mirror in Asia, right? So. Uh, people don't have to grab package file uh, at the other side of the earth, <laughs> right? Right, and uh, also in BSD can I met uh, Sato Sang again, and uh, he invited me to join Asia BSD can program committee, uh, and uh, not in BSD can, but in Asia BSD can. Uh, somebody, uh, I was being volunteered to hold <laughs> BSD Taiwan last year. So yeah, I became general chair of La Conference. So this talk is most about how we uh, bootstrap this conference. Yeah, uh, uh, such like a record and uh, some do's and the don'ts. Yeah, want to share with others. Hope you can uh, also bootstrap a BSD conference in your hometown. Right, so uh, after the BSD Taiwan, I organize, uh, because it is a bit too aggressive to hold a big conference suddenly in a place. So I feel um, we, we need to grow the user base more. So after BSD Taiwan, I started a monthly based meetups. And uh, um, at first, people, We'll just re we'll reply say well, most people say uh, I don't think I have anything can share so I said uh, never mind just come here and uh, we can help you to write code and contribute to BSD so people are happy because they uh, they can learn something and uh, learn more about BSD things there so uh, we had a few. Uh, Minops layer, layer. Hope we can turn those people into uh, developer or uh, and the staff of the conference. All right. So, do you want to do, do you want a BSD conference in your hometown? Uh, that's a question. So, first of all, we need to think about what this conference. Yeah, I checked the Wikipedia. Yeah and uh, many dictionary, and I found that the Cambridge Dictionary is the best. Uh, conference is just an event, and uh, sometimes lasts a, a few days, at which there is a group of talks on a particular subject. Yeah, that's exactly what we are doing here. All right, so what's a BSD conference? Of course, it is a conference. <laughs> so uh, I feel BSD conference is just where the people, BSD people met and have fun. And uh, we do several things there. First of all, is trying to uh, 
advocacy. Uh, yeah, we should let more people know about how great BSD is. And also here, because uh, we have many uh, developers and uh, users or uh, vendors, every people related to BSD will come. So it is a very good place to have uh, people sit together and uh, improve BSD. So, yeah, you you can try to have a room and put all the developers layer, and of course layer computers in a room, and uh, probably lock it. And uh, after a moment, you will eventually have some working code. All right. So finally, uh, why we should have uh, a conference, and why should we do it? Uh, in voluntary basis, because uh, it is fun, of course. Um, well, profit. <laughs> Sometimes you lose money if you uh, don't really, uh, if you did not control your budget very well. So, uh, in the following slides, you will uh, see lots of skill or lots of uh, things you need to think about how. Uh, what you should do, or you should just throw it away, just forget it to control your budget. Yeah. All right. So uh, finally, uh, a BSD conference in your hometown. Yeah. What? Sh uh, what's the purpose of that? Uh, first of all, uh, introduce BSD technology to the friends in your hometown. Yeah. Because you probably the uh, the people knows BSD first. Uh, best, so uh, it's and they, you love it. So it's the best chance to introduce this awesome thing to your friends, and uh, also it, you have lots of BSD friends uh, externally. It's the also the best chance to introduce those friends to the friends in your hometown, and uh, also introduce those friends to BSD people to make this community bigger. And uh, in your, uh, also you can introduce your hometown, the sightseeing area, your local food to your friends. And uh, the best things, after you create such a big event, you will know some BSD friends in your hometown but you didn't know before. Yeah, so you can also make new friends. Right. So. Do you think have a BSD conference in your hometown a good idea? Yeah, probably. So you decide to bootstrap a BSD conference in your hometown. Yeah. So step zero, congratulations, you made the right decision. Mm. Right. So uh, after that, you the best uh, best way is that other BSD conference. Organize it now because we will be very exciting about that. There is a new BSD conference created, so uh, don't worry. Everybody will help you, and everybody likes to help you because we like conference or we don't hold conference, right? So uh, you can take this following presentation as a reference and. Uh, uh, just as the following part of the BSD license, uh, if there is any damage caused, uh, sorry, I cannot take any responsibility. <laughs> All right. So after you have this done, uh, the first two things you need to decide is the date and the venue. Yeah. Uh, so uh, just like what we learned from AO2.11, uh, we need to do. Uh, uh, collision avoidance, yeah, because uh, there are so many conferences uh, are holding in the same time right now, and uh, you. So that's why we say I say that we should let other BSD conference organizers know because you need to uh, uh, give some spaces between conferences, and uh, even in your hometown, you need to check if there is. Any other big conferences about uh, BSD or about other computer science uh, conference? Yeah, last year it was a bit pain because after we decided the date, uh, there 
is another big uh, big data and uh, artificial intelligence and uh, probably oh, they probably don't have blockchain <laughs> in what's hold in exactly the same date and so everything makes very everything is very difficult at time so uh, double check but you probably or and announce it uh, as early as possible to try to try to stop other to avoid others to collision with you right and uh, you need to think about how the scale should be should be is your conference uh, how about you which can, at first uh, it can be a very rough number such as uh, we need uh, 100 to 200 people and uh, uh, how, how long about we need uh, two, two, two days conference so you can search for a uh, suitable facility conference uh, conference rooms and uh, uh, besides search, searching for for suitable uh, conference room you also need to ch check the traffic to live conference venue so and uh, not only for local people but also need to think about how to uh, uh, get there through the closest, closest uh, airport and uh, also check the visa uh, inf information of your country and um, also because uh, your conference lists a few days and uh, not only the people from uh, outside of your country but also in your country may need to stay there for a few days so you need to check uh, uh, there is um, enough uh, accommodation facilities not only for speakers but also for the uh, attendees and uh, another uh, things you might need to uh, check is there are different needs of, of uh, attendees because some of them probably don't have a, a very high budget so it is best that you can provide you can uh, provide information of a different type types of uh, accommodation yeah yeah and uh, yeah conference room is the most important place of a conference so and uh, we need to give presentations so screen and the projector is are the two main equipment you need and uh, uh, there are some things you need to check uh, such as a uh, connector type you have HDMI or a traditional VGA connector adapter and uh, the display aspect ratio and uh, uh, states since you decide you have a rough plan about how many people will join your conference you set up a goal so you uh, seek for for uh, enough space for people to sit in you don't want to uh, let people stand or uh, drag people out of the room <laughs> yeah and uh, one little thing might be worthy to take care of is uh, check the view from the last row because some conference rooms are not very suitable for uh, technical presentation with very complex text on the screen so you need to check the view from the last row to check every everybody is uh, able to see the, the screen clearly and uh, uh, of course you you need a recording uh, recording service so uh, check the speakers laptop check the monitor and check the audio can all be recorded uh, correctly and uh, yeah it's 21 century people need the Wi-Fi and the power and uh, uh, the audio system yeah audio system is not only for the speaker but also uh, uh, audience need so uh, because audience need uh, uh, ask questions so uh, you don't have to have microphone on each seat but you probably need to have a, a, the other microphone to uh, pass to, to the uh, audience to have learned to ask a question yeah and uh, uh, all of those information uh, I suggest to send to the speakers in advance have learned to prepare the 
the the the slides. Right. So and the uh, outside of the conference room is very are also very important. Um, as you can see, we have a whole way track uh, just out of uh, there, and uh, uh, we want to boost area. And uh, because boost area is not only for the community, but also we uh, most sponsor wants a boost layer, and then you want people to come to their uh, come to their booths to 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 have interaction with their uh, sponsors, or how we, or if you uh, put the booth area too far away from people or the conference room, people might not just might not go there, and uh, uh, sponsors might feel it's not very worthy to sponsor a conference. Right, so hacking area, because we are technical conference, hacker conference, uh, people will like to sit down and uh, hack something. Yeah, and uh, uh, dining area, if you're, if you're, uh, if the eating and drinking is prohibited in your comfort zone, you need to check where people can uh, have their meals. And uh, uh, you probably need a staff room or sta staff area where you can keep all your uh, conference uh, staff and uh, your goods uh, safely there. Right, so uh, it would be best if, if we can, it, this place can be a little away from the crowd. So keep your staff quiet and keep your things uh, safe. And uh, yeah, people need restroom or something. I mean, uh, check those uh, mixed, mixed serious things uh, really work. Right, so uh, this is a picture from HRBSDCon. The NetBSD booth is always open. So sometimes I feel that uh, the conference might not only invite uh, speakers, but also invite some uh, communities to, such as other older BSD groups, have their booths to display their, the best uh, stuff from their, their community. Right, so uh, how to kick things off? Uh, first of all, you need to set up a schedule. And uh, uh, f the first thing is public schedule. You need to list the important dates. So you need to call for paper, uh, and uh, it is best uh, to send as early as possible because you are just having your very first uh, conference. You, la you need to have people know as early as possible because people might have another submission plan. You, if you announce it as early as possible, you probably can hijack it. Right? And uh, uh, you need to think about a call for sponsor date and uh, also make it as early as possible. And uh, uh, you need to check where your program, uh, when your program should be finalized and uh, uh, not, notify your author, speakers. Because uh, you might have uh, many speakers not from your, uh, coming from outside of your country. They need, uh, it is better to give them three months to plan their travel because uh, air travel, because uh, it is easier and for people to get the cheaper uh, flight tickets, and uh, uh, you still have time to adjust the things. Uh, this is very important because you need to keep your budget as low as possible, and uh, you need to think about when you uh, start a registration, and uh, also you need to uh, think about a date to close the registration because you need to fix the, uh, you need to know the, the rough number of how many people will come to your conference to uh, make, to decide how many um, goods uh, such as t-shirts or other, we were talking about that later, uh, you need to order. And uh, of course you can uh, make some room of it if you still have enough budget. And uh, uh, 
if you do, you can think about uh, later registration. And uh, of course, you can charge us more for later registration. And uh, you can uh, uh, state on your website or announce it, say uh, for later re re restriction, you cannot guarantee you will have the right size of the T-shirt or have everything uh, promised for other attendants. Right? And uh, of course, you need to uh, decide the uh, exact conference date. Also, you need to have a private schedule. Uh, private schedule also controlled by two types of things, external and uh, internally. Uh, for external, uh, you need also need to set a date to exactly know how many people will come to your conference, including the speaker, attendance, and how many uh, how many, how, how many staff? So it's for placing the order. And uh, inter, uh, internally, uh, uh, you need to stack up, stack up uh, many meetings. So at the, at the beginning, you probably uh, have meetings monthly. And uh, when the date of the conference approaches, uh, probably need to bi-weekly, weekly, or even daily. And uh, right before the conference, it would be best uh, if you can have a rehearsal meeting. Everybody sh should sit down and uh, have a schedule to check when, who, who uh, each, you need to check each people will, will do uh, right things at the right time. So try to write everything down and uh, give a, a cheat sheet to each, um, each staff to let them know where they should be and what they should do. And, uh, and uh, uh, simultaneously, uh, you can uh, list the market events schedule. Uh, we will talk about that later. Right. So, uh, after you have all of, all of these things, you can you should do staff recruiting. Yeah, you probably cannot just do everything yourself. So uh, the best thing is you can have a co-organizer, and uh, a co-organizer don't have to be uh, don't have to be uh, another person, but it you, it can be a, a organization or a company which is very friendly to FreeBSD, then you can uh, leverage their resources. So uh, you can talk about the company or organizations in your hometown uh, to be the co-organizer of you. And uh, uh, there are some roles of the of conference you need, uh, some roles of the people you need to, to have. Uh, Besides the organizer, you need to have a you need to have finance and the fundraising people to if you are not good uh, at money, just as me, and uh, you need to have marketing people because again this is the first time you need that everybody knows you are going to have a conference and uh, you need to have everybody come to your conference. So if you are also a shy people like me, have these kind of people. And uh, yeah, we, of course, we need a web uh, designer for lots of uh, art goods. And we need a web developer system administrator to uh, work on your systems. Uh, you probably can do it yourself, but uh, I would recommend that uh, try and if you can offload to others, uh, do it as much as possible. And uh, during the conference, you need a photographer. Uh, you can also. Uh, have those photographs, or you just taking pictures uh, during the the preparation period. I mean, this is very good memories, but also a very good uh, uh, marketing resource. So, and uh, finally, we uh, in the conference uh, in the talk session, it will be great if you can have a master of uh, ceremony to help you to organize the things right inside one room. And uh, uh, you can find very well-known people there which, who can also be 
uh, reason that people join your conference. And finally, uh, uh, if budget allows and uh, you think you need more hands, don't be afraid about pay, pay the staff. I mean, uh, uh, having some professional services is very good. So um, think about it. Uh, uh, I mean, we should control the budget very carefully, but don't be too afraid to spend money. Right. And uh, uh, besides those staffs, we need to have a program committee to have a, uh, have a program schedule. So uh, the composition of the program committee, uh, I suggest, can uh, have BSD developers because uh, this is a BSD conference and uh, those developers should know BSD technology, technology best. And uh, uh, also, BSD friends. I mean, uh, there are so many people who probably not a, uh, not a current BSD developer or not even be a BSD developer uh, before, but uh, uh, they are very friendly to FreeBSD and uh, their knowledge is very good. Uh, just invite them to, jo to join and uh, uh, because sometimes they will provide uh, very good suggestions or they have other connections to the possible speakers. So try to invite those friends. And uh, uh, think about the diversity and the balance. Um, I would say I didn't do it very well for our conference uh, last year. Uh, so you need to think about, you. Uh, I mean, to create a program committee, first of all, you have a, a program committee lead. And uh, uh, you need to talk with him or she, uh, her to form a program committee composed by uh, not only one BSD system but all the BSD systems and uh, checking about loss of balance instead to have a very uh, uh, biased program. Right. So uh, after you have lo all those people, uh, you need to think about how to do teamwork. So first of all, mailing list was best, and uh, which creates an archive. So uh, people, yeah, of course, face-to-face uh, -face meeting is the most convenient thing. However, uh, people are usually lazy to take notes. And uh, we keep forget, forget things, and uh, you will have lots of lots of things in your head. Uh, you so you need to write down every decisions. Uh, uh, so have a mailing list uh, internally and uh, and uh, externally. I mean, uh, privately and publicly uh, to let uh, your staff. Communicate, communicate, and also let external people to uh, uh, ask questions or uh, uh, communicate with possible sponsors. And uh, you probably need to set up an issue tracker. You don't have to have a very fancy uh, issue tracking system. A uh, spreadsheet might just work. So uh, the important thing is you need to set up a deadline of everything. Yeah, and uh, uh, you also need a backup plan to, of everything. If deadline approaches and the status is not very good, uh, just switch to a backup plan. And uh, sometimes people will, uh, your staff will not own in one location, set out conference code and uh, set out uh, an instant message app application which everybody uh, accept to use. So this is very important because uh, uh, not only for the preparation but also in the uh, conf conference uh, in, a, in a conference date because uh, there will be lots of incidents and you need to uh, deal with them. Alright, let's think how to kick off, kick off the things. Next, of course, we need to keep the ball rolling. Uh, 
So, program and the schedule. Um, there are lots of lots of types of uh, um, uh, events can be in a conference. Then, of course, the most important one is uh, normal talks, like what we are having here. But also, uh, there are tutorials, keynotes, or working progress sections. Uh, those are all possible things you can have in your conference. But remember, you don't have to put everything in your conference. If you put too much thing in your conference, you will uh, have a very uh, fragmented schedule, and the people sometimes don't know what the main purpose of your, of your conference. So uh, just p pick up the key things you want to have in your conference. Right. And uh, so for the program, program committee tasks, uh, because this, this probably your first one, first conference, uh, their first, their, their first, um, the main duty probably not to, uh, but to 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 ask people submit their talk. So uh, uh, you at first you need to uh, have some well-known program committee and have let. Uh, have learned to uh, ask people to submission in the in the conferences or in other uh, other um, uh, to ask in, I mean such as sending emails to different communities. So uh, that was what we are doing last year, and. Uh, uh, think about the topics of your conference. So, uh, uh, it, 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 sometimes it, it is very easy to fall into a, a, a situation that you, all of your talks are very hard code technical talks, which is, uh, yeah, it is very exciting. However, it sometimes will, uh, Will 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 just uh, keep the average user away because they sometimes just don't know the what they are what the, the those topics are about. So they probably don't want to to join. Yeah. So uh, it is best to have uh, talks in uh, each label, and uh, so peop every. Um, every every pe every person can come in happily, and uh, they can uh, interact with other labels of people to to uh, improve. All right. So think about the topics for not only for the developers but also for the users, and they try to make balance. And uh, for uh, selecting propo proposals, uh, you can uh, have a sc scoring system. Uh, one example is uh, you can uh, set our three uh, three uh, three scores such as uh, technical quality, BS, if it is BSD related, and uh, the interest of the, the the audience. Because sometimes you will get a proposal of very very fancy uh, uh, talk. However. Uh, uh, which is not very BSD related, or uh, it is very probably very boring or very too academic. Uh, you need to check about don't let that, that kind of talk fall of your schedule. Right. So uh, fundraising, um, sp 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 asking for sponsorship is not very easy. <laughs> However. Uh, it could be start by uh, trying to have uh, internal contacts. So uh, at first, uh, you can talk to some big, uh, and, uh, big uh, and uh, regular sponsors of other conferences. If once you have learned, you can le uh, list the lenders, the uh, uh, 
markers to try to use those companies to persuade other possible sponsors. And uh, uh, don't be shy, too shy to uh, push them or contact them periodically because the, sometimes they might just uh, uh, forget. And uh, if you don't uh, keep in touch with them periodically, uh, uh, you will get nothing. Right. And another thing you can do is try to have a personal sponsor. So for last year, uh, uh, my, my team suggests me to have a special souvenir for the personal sponsor. So you can, uh, you can create a, a special souvenir with very uh, low cost, but you can uh, give them as a very uh, memorable souvenir. Then, uh, some people will happily to pay more money uh, to sponsor your conference. Right. And uh, uh, you need to have a call of sponsorship uh, uh, for more document. So uh, uh, inside that, uh, there's uh, sponsor packages. So before you have this big uh, table, uh, I would suggest you to talk to the possible uh, sponsors, yeah, because sometimes uh, those, uh, I mean, the, the pricing is not very suitable for each, uh, for, for your area. So talk to the possible sponsor, asking, about, asking them about uh, what, how much do they willing to sponsor and uh, what the benefit they are interested in. So uh, after you have uh, a big picture, uh, based on that to create the, the list, list table, this will help you to maximize the sponsorship. Yeah. Right, so uh, finance. Uh, uh, you need to, again, you need to plan the budget very carefully. So first of all is the, is the cost. There are two kinds of cost, uh, variable cost and the fixed Costs. Variable cost uh, means which it will increase while you have more attendees. So it would be best if this cost can be covered by, by the tickets because uh, uh, more people come to your conference and uh, increasing the variable cost, but they also paid for their tickets and uh, just so you don't have to worry to uh, you will short for money. And uh, there will be lots of fixed costs, just like uh, the travel and uh, the uh, accommodation reimbursement of the speakers. It will be best to be covered by the sponsorship because uh, sponsorship is fixed, and uh, you use fixed uh, fixed budget to deal with fixed costs. And. Uh, uh, because we set up the dates, so if, as, as one day you need, uh, you know about how much money uh, you can spend. So uh, before that, you can you can you can do a, a thing called a financial project projection. So uh, you just calculate the expected value of a sponsorship, and. Uh, after, uh, after calculating that, you will suddenly know uh, you will make it or not. Or, or uh, in other words, you need to cut up some, uh, some, some, some things of your, uh, in your conference. So think about that. And uh, uh, also, is it the first time? You need to think about where to put those money. Uh, the worst case is using your personal account. Uh, you probably don't really want to do that. But uh, if you do, uh, please remember record each incoming and the expense because uh, yeah, you probably don't want to deal with the tax authority in the next year. And uh, uh, it would be best if you can have a non-profit organization to handle all of all of those things. Or, uh, it probably not be so easy for, 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 for 
set up a non non profit organization you are in your country so you can try to collaborate with uh, company or uh, that's why we need to seek co-organizers or you can just set up your own business for this conference uh, again uh, you need to think of that and uh, either way you go you should uh, record each incoming and uh, expense carefully. Right, so uh, we talk about budget again and again. Um, uh, how to do so? I mean, uh, we talked about lots of things. Uh, and uh, you need to list all of them and uh, uh, prioritize them and uh, uh, seek for for the uh, survey for the pricing. So for each thing such as uh, your catering service, your conference room, you can list several object options. So you can have uh, very fancy or just have poor main solutions. Uh, once you have all of these, uh, you can set up a, a cut of line. Uh, Above you can you that means you can uh, very uh, you can order everything above that line very uh, without any uh, fairness. But you have to uh, cut off everything below that line. Uh, uh, yeah, to prevent you bankrupt. And. Uh, for the tickets, uh, last year that's, that was I. This uh, this plan is uh, I learned from other conferences in Taiwan. Uh, you should you can you can have uh, tickets, uh, very, very many types of tickets, just like the sponsorships to check uh, how much. How much, how much of the price they are willing to pay to enter your conference. So, yeah, of course, the first one is normal conference. You check with other conference how, how is the average price of your conference, of, of the conference in your hometown. Or you can just write many good reasons. Uh, yeah, because uh, the, one of the specialty of the BSD conference is we uh, we, um, we, we treat the speakers too well. Uh, it is the comment I received from other conference organizers. They said that you, don't, you really don't have to uh, reimburse everything for, for the speakers. But uh, um, last year, there was also a discussion between the BSD conference organizers. We think this is a very good uh, way to to encourage people to speak in a conference and uh, it is also good for people to uh, for for the students or others don't have that much money to join the conference so uh, yeah set the price of the normal, t normal ticket carefully but you also can have uh, other type of tickets uh, first one is student yeah, student, you should uh, uh, keep the price as low as possible. However, uh, uh, you 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 probably don't want to let them in for free. But so you can also uh, set up some other kinds of the tickets, such as we have a student contributor, which means if you are a student and you have contributed to BSD systems. In the past year, you can have a very cheap price to get in, and uh, uh, if and we also have a student engagement ticket, which means uh, you have no lunch box, you don't have a T-shirt or anything. The on, only thing you have is a, a permit to enter the conference. So just let student know what the BSD conference is. And uh, yeah, for speakers and the staff, uh, they, those type of tickets are not for sale. But uh, remember, those kind of t uh, people will also include in your variable cost. So you need to uh, calculate the average selling price. And uh, 
uh, make sure this average selling price uh, is not lower than the cost of each attendance. Yeah, it's very important to uh, make balance. Right, so uh, target attendance. Uh, I learned from the conference in Taiwan, biggest open source conference in Taiwan called COSCOV. So uh, COS COSCOV means conference for open source coders, users, and the promoters. So uh, think about what people you want to have learned in your conference. So uh, try to invite LAN. Uh, if you know LAN, try to invite LAN uh, in person. And uh, for new friends, it's, uh, it's the challenge of your marketing skill. So marketing. Nowadays, people are uh, using social networks. So uh, you can have uh, very creative ideas. So uh, and uh, check for the engagements. And uh, also for the traditional, traditional media, uh, you can try to seek for uh, local e-newspapers or uh, some technical traditional media to announce this event. And uh, uh, what we did in the past year, we also collected with the schools. So we let many uh, professors know we are going to have a technical conference with, uh, and uh, let them to encourage their students to join. Yeah. So and, uh, you can also marketing in uh, other conferences. Right, and uh, for social media, you need to have a publishing schedule, and uh, you can have this to also for your sponsorship. So for speaker introduction, for sponsor introduction, and uh, for past year we have an event called BSDTW Everywhere. So have your people, have your logo, and, uh, and uh, post interesting things on the uh, social media, and uh, trying to uh, increase the engagement. Yeah. And uh, when doing so, uh, please, care about the privacy because you need to ask the people if they really want to be on social media. All right, so uh, the goods. So t-shirt and souvenir bag baggage, every conference have that. Uh, one thing I want to point out is t-shirt. Uh, the t-shirt size is different in each areas. So uh, list those information to let people choose the right size. All right, so uh, website, uh, one thing I would say is uh, doing, uh, you need to have put lots of information on the website, but you don't have to put them uh, once. Uh, do progressive update and uh, announce whatever, what, whatever you got immediately to let people have the latest information. That's the most important thing. Uh, sorry, I know that I run out of time. I will uh, put down, just uh, put the uh, important things. All right, the uh, registration system, uh, just uh, check about the uh, customizability because uh, we need to collect lots of information. And uh, check about the administration fee because uh, it is related to money and uh, sometimes the Registration fee is higher than you expected, so check it then first. Right, so yeah, BSD conference culture. Uh, uh, you can think about some creative ideas, such as we have auction in BSD can, and uh, such as in Taiwan we have lightning talk, and the lightning talk is uh, time time limited. If time's up, there will be a person go on the stage and plug, plug, unplug your, uh, your cable. So yeah, think about such creative things. So uh, logistics, uh, yeah, uh, of course we need cutting. And uh, uh, for one thing you probably won't, uh, might forget is insurance. You need to insurance for all the uh, uh, attendees. And uh, one feedback we received the last year is because everybody, there are many people cannot attend because uh, they need to take care of their kids. So uh, 
the other conference in Taiwan, they really did is have a babysitter or a kindergarten right aside of the conference, then more people can attend. Right. Right, so thank you. Uh, everybody knows one, two. So, uh, you also need to control the budget of the banquet. If it is necessary, you can have the banquet take its responsibility for profit at a loss, which, which means uh, you can take a banquet is another separate event, and you sell tickets separately. To uh, so, if banquet uh, is not going to happen, you don't have to. It won't affect your main conference. So, uh, because people come to your hometown, you they probably want to do some tourism. So, try to market market your home place, and uh, people will want to know the three G, four G data plan in your country. Uh, what we did last year is we set up a wiki system and uh, let people to help each other, and uh, this is also a kind of interaction. With between the speakers, your conference staff, and the audience, uh, which is very useful. Right. So uh, just we said we have uh, rehearsal meetings. So you have uh, you. Sh it is best to have some kind this kind of uh, uh, schedule to list the time and uh, who and uh, what they should do in the each time slot. All right. So show time. Uh, in a conference, what you want to, what you need to do is just connect people. So you need to make sure everybody is having fun, and uh, uh, and uh, don't forget to take the pictures because this is very useful for the uh, in conference marketing and the post post conference marketing. And uh, you probably the only thing you need to do is solve the incidents. Yeah, we don't like incident incidents. However, it always happen. Uh, the one thing you don't want most is uh, schedule change because some of the speakers just um, have incident or they missed the plan or so. Uh, it is best to have backup, uh, backup plan, backup talk. And uh, yeah, how could anything be wrong? But uh, everything is possible be, be wrong. So you need to have a reacting and you have to have uh, technical to help you to solve things. All right, phew, it finally concluded. After the conference, you don't forget to thank everybody, and uh, unavoid un unavoidable, you need to do the paperwork, and you need to arrange pictures, slides, videos, lots of things. One thing you probably also want to do is post-conference questionnaire, because this is a very a uh, good way to know what you, the friends in your your hometown wants to have. So, and uh, you can do post conference marketing to help to other BSD conference and uh, also help your uh, conference in the next or next next year. And uh, uh, when you do those post conference things, which will help you. Uh, recruiting more staff, and uh, finally, don't forget to connect your conference to other conference to make people to attend your conference. Right. Finally, uh, some suggestions. First of all, is I would say try uh, not try. Be sure don't burn out yourself. You will have lots of things you need to deal with, but uh, people don't want you just do it once. So don't burn out yourself, but also don't burn out your staff. Um, while holding the BSD Taiwan conference last year, I heard many volunteers say, okay, I can cover these things, I can pay these things, it is very cheap. But uh, remember, big, those people are volunteers, and they already invest their time. So don't let them put also uh, uh, take their take out their own money, uh, or they will feel, uh, they might be feel okay in that place uh, at that time, but uh, probably they will regret uh, after that. So don't do that. Uh, and uh, invite the growth, and uh, release your creativity, open minding for fun, and uh, try to make it uh, forever. All right.
I'm ready. Uh, you were, oh no, uh, our future work. Um, attend the BSD conference more and uh, sponsor BSD conference more. And uh, if you can, try to hold more BSD conference. Yeah, you will find it is easier if you starting organize it because, as I said before, everybody will help you happily. Yeah, so there are uh, two courts uh, between holding those conferences. First is they are 12 months in a year, so we still have lots of rooms for more conferences. So think about it, hold more conferences. And uh, um, it might not be very possible, but uh, <laughs> people want to sort the BSD conference from east to west or west to east, so it will be easier to plan their troubles. Right, so that's my final slide. Sorry, I run out of time. Uh, the thanks for your listening. Thank you, and uh, I'm happy to take question after that. Thank you. <laughs>